in this video we will deal with uniformly accelerated motion most of the motions that we came across in daily life is non uniform motion either things are speeding up or they are slowing down in non uniform motion the velocity of the body changes as the motion proceeds which means the velocity of the body keeps changing with the passage of time and such a body is said to have acceleration now motion with constant acceleration or uniformly accelerated motion is that in which velocity changes at same rate throughout the motion means a is equals to dv upon dt which is change in velocity with the passage of time is constant now when acceleration of the moving object is constant its average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration they both are equal so we have average acceleration equals to instantaneous acceleration that is equals to v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 where v1 is the initial velocity at some time interval t and v2 is final velocity of the particle at the time interval t2 now to discuss further let us consider v0 be the velocity of particle at some initial time say t1 is equals to t is equals to 0 and v be the velocity of particle at time t2 is equals to t now let us number this is equation as equation 1 now if we put these values in this equation 1 then we have acceleration a is equals to v minus v not upon t minus t not or we have v is equals to v not plus a t let us number this equation as number 2 now this is the velocity time graph for rectilinear motion with constant acceleration and from this graph it is clear that velocity v at any time t is equals to initial velocity plus the change in velocity that is at so v is equals to this velocity v not which is the initial velocity and change in velocity that is equals to at which we see here in this relation so similarly average velocity can also be written as v is equals to x minus x not upon t minus 0 where this x not is the position of object at time t is equals to 0 and v this v bar is the average velocity between time t is equals to 0 to time t now solving this equation for x we get x is equals to x not plus v t now we know that in interval from t is equals to 0 to t the average velocity is given as and now putting this is equation 2 we get and now putting this in equation 3 we get and this is the position time relation for object moving with uniformly accelerated motion and now from equation this equation 5 it is clear that an object at any time t has quadratic dependence on time when it is moving with constant acceleration along a straight line and position time graph for such a motion will be parabolic in nature so this is the position time graph of a particle moving with uniformly accelerated motion now this equation 5 and equation 2 are the basic equations of constant acceleration and these two equations can be combined to get yet another relation for x v and a in which we can eliminate t now so putting t is equals to v minus v not by a using this equation 2 and putting this relation for t in equation 5 and solving for v we find 
v square is equals to v naught square plus 2a x minus x naught. So this is equation 6. Now from this equation 6 we can clearly see that it is a velocity dependent relation between velocities of the object moving with constant acceleration at time t and t is equals to 0 and their corresponding positions at that instant of time. And this and this relation is very useful in solving problems when we do not know anything about time t. Likewise, we can also eliminate the acceleration a between equation 2 and 5 from this relation. We have a is equals to v minus v naught upon t. Now putting this in equation 5, we get x minus x naught is equals to v naught t plus 1 by 2 v minus v naught upon t into t square so let me label this equation as equation number 7 and this relation is helpful when we do not know about acceleration with which the particle is moving similarly we can also eliminate v naught using equation 2 and 5 so what are equations 2 and 5 they are this is equation 2 and the equation 5 is now again from equation 2 we have v0 is equals to v minus at now putting this value of v0 in equation 5 and solving it for x minus x0 we find vt minus 1 by 2 at square Now, so this equation does not involve initial velocity. Thus, thus these basic equations 2, 5 and derived equations 6, 7 and 8. Then let me write so these basic equations 2, 5 and derived equation these 6, 7 and 8 can be used to solve constant acceleration problems. Now we will discuss what is free fall acceleration. Now freely falling motion of any body under the effect of gravity is an example of uniformly accelerated motion. Now kinematic equations of motion under gravity can be obtained by replacing acceleration A in uh, the previous equations of motion by the letter G where G is acceleration due to gravity. And uh, the value of G is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. Now kinematic equations of motion for an object moving under the action of gravity are V is equals to V naught plus GT. No. X is equals to V naught T plus 1 by 2 GT square and v naught whole square minus v square is equals to 2 g x the value of g is taken as positive when the body falls vertically downwards and its value is taken as negative when the body is projected up against the gravity so this is all for now in our next video we will discuss about relative velocity